magazine that doubles as a guide to the homes of the rich and famous features in its November issue, due out next week, a tour of the New York City apartment of Madonna. The mood of her Central Park West digs is deco and pricey and, yes, impressive. Take a look. Here we are in the vestibule of Madonna's apartment on the Upper West Side of Manhattan. It's actually three small apartments that have been connected with interiors designed by Madonna's brother, Christopher Ciccone. That Pompeii-style chair there is a hundred years old. Don't sit in it. This is Madonna's living room. Look at that purple rug and the paintings by Le Jean Picasso. Look at all the shelves with nothing in them. Where does she keep her CDs? This is Madonna's dining room. Look at all the wine glasses with nothing in them and the 60-year-old Tamara de Lempica nude on the wall. There are lots of pictures of nude women in Madonna's apartment, but this is art, so don't get the wrong idea. This is Madonna's office. She says she loves this room because she can use her fax machine and look at her Picasso at the same time. Surely everyone has felt this way at one time or another. This is Madonna's kitchen, where she makes popcorn in the microwave, and this is her gym. There is a painting from the 40s of a bare-chested boxer on the wall here, probably some sort of psychological thing. After she's finished one of her hot and sweaty workouts, we assume Madonna heads straight for her bathroom where she can expose her tight and glowing body to a wall full of 17 custom nozzles. She also seems to be using her tub for a terrarium. What a free spirit. Finally, this is Madonna's bedroom. Look at those 120-year-old Parisian lamps and the Leger painting over the fireplace. Look at the custom-made bed with nobody in it. If this is life at the top, it seems kind of lonely, but maybe Madonna's just out of town. I think we'd better go before she gets back. At home without Madonna. Madonna is also the subject of two new unauthorized biographies currently battling it out in bookstores. One of these, called Madonna Revealed by an English writer named Douglas Thompson, is a cut-and-paste rehash of old press clippings. The other, however, Madonna Unauthorized by People magazine editor Christopher Anderson, is said to be the result of a year's worth of interviews with the singer's friends, lovers, and family members, and is thus not a typical quickie hack job. Both books' conclusions, that Madonna is bright and ambitious and a sexual enthusiast, will come as surprising only to those who may be hearing Madonna's name for the first time. As for the singer's own reaction to the two books, a Madonna press representative told MTV News she just doesn't care. In awards news, ASCAP, the